Okay, in this video we're going to talk about how to create new ad groups. And uh, as you can see, I'm in the account and we're looking at uh, the campaign summary and the first campaign we've created. And uh, we already have one ad group in here, actually two. And uh, to create a new ad group, all you have to do is just simply click on New Ad Group. Okay, now what I'm going to want to do is name my new ad group. And uh, since this particular campaign, I'm targeting Bluetooth headsets. Um, within each individual ad group, I may want to target a specific type of Bluetooth headset. So for this ad group, let's make it Jabra. Hit set, and then click continue. And then it's going to bring up for me to create my ad for this particular one. So what I'm going to do now is just simply modify this ad a little bit. Uh, I'm going to change it to Jabra Bluetooth headset. And uh, this one I'm going to change up to. I'm going to put um, newest Jabra headsets on market. Let's press available anywhere. And I'm going to use another domain that I have. Java Bluetooth headset dot net. And I kind of like to go back and capitalize mine. I mean, sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't. But sometimes it helps for the words not to look like they're all running together. So as you see, it's a lot more readable for it to say Jabra Bluetooth headset.net. And uh, an ad like this will actually do quite well because it is Jabra Bluetooth headset if someone's looking for that. And then I actually have the domain name Jabra Bluetooth headset. Uh, people are going to be a lot more likely to click that ad. And now I'm going to click continue. And it gave me an error message here. Uh, trademark item, not allowing advertisers to use Jabra. Um, so I'm going to have to change that. But in the meantime, I'm just going to continue on with this for the demonstration purposes. Okay, and I'm back, and I've modified this um, so that we can go on with the video. Um, and I, I'm, what I'm going to do, since I am going to target Jabra Bluetooth headsets here with my Jabra Bluetooth headset website, is I'm going to enter Jabra Bluetooth headset for my keywords and uh, the Jawbone headset, which is another type of Jabra Bluetooth headset. And I would actually also put some model numbers in here, some specific model numbers. Um, but I won't bother with that for the video here. I'm just going to click continue. And as we saw before, it's going to ask me for maximum CPCs. I'll just put three bucks in here. Um, I'll view the traffic estimator. And we see the traffic estimator at the cost of uh, CPCs that I put in. Estimated ad positions 1 to 3, 45 to 57 clicks a day. You know, if I don't want to have that big of a budget, I would probably lower my uh, cost per click um, down to a dollar or so, maybe even under a dollar.
And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back also because I want to make sure that you remember what we talked about in one of the earlier videos. When you're uh, doing your keywords, you know, we're also going to want to do exact phrase and phrase match on these as well. So I'm going to add these in here and uh, I will actually normally I would have used the good keyword tool but just for the purposes of this video and just showing how to create the new ad group um, it's not necessary so once I'm done with this we will have broad match phrase match and exact match covered so that um, if someone's looking for Jabra, if they're looking for Bluetooth, if they're looking for headset, they're going to come uh, click on this. Uh, these keywords, if it's any of this in any order, uh, it will show. And then if it's the exact phrase, of course, which I'm looking for, Jabra Bluetooth headset, then I will get to click um, if I've got the highest CPC. So it's really that simple to uh, set up your ad groups and uh, you know each in individual ad group you can uh, set it up either geographically or set it up by um, specific niche within a niche it just depends on what your market is if you're doing something like a lawn service in a local area then you may want to target your ads by a specific uh, city for example you know if you're in a large city like uh, uh, Houston, you may want to have little outli outlying cities around it as your ad groups. You know, your ads will all be the same except for the name of the city. Now, in my particular case here, what I would be doing is different variations on Bluetooth headsets. So, depending upon your niche, that's where you're going to set your ad groups up. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is go ahead and click continue. And it's going to give me the overview of our new ad group which is uh, best Bluetooth headset um, it's in the campaign that's $200 a day uh, shows me my keywords that I put in and then I'm just going to click on save the ad group 